Hi everyone, uh, in this video I am going to talk about the uh, marine AC system and uh, I am going to focus the some kind of common issues that you will have uh, this kind of marine AC system. This is a split type AC system and uh, also you will find you you can see there's a chiller water system also if you're working in the motors that uh, this video i hope will helpful for you and uh, uh, in this video that uh, i'm going to talk about a little bit the most common issues that you will have with this kind of uh, marine ac system so that i'm going to talk about low pressure shutdown high pressure and also uh, high ampere edge shutdown so this uh, three problem is normally uh, common fault for this kind of AC system. I'm going to talk about little bit one by one and also, also I'm going to talk about how you troubleshoot about this this kind of issues if you have in this uh, marine AC system. So if I talk about the high pressure system, high pressure means that uh, inside the uh, uh, high side the refrigerant become uh, pressure high than limited pressure so if you if you see this problem that uh, in your display you will see kind of some code or hp or high pressure something like that any kind of marine system uh, marine ac system except the chiller system that you will see this kind if you see this kind of problem that the most common problem will be your co2 cooling system so when you see this problem that uh, you have to check the pressure first that uh, I mean the, you can hook up the pressure gauge uh, obviously you know the pressure gauge now uh, so you have to hook up the pressure gauge then uh, you have to check the pressure uh, while the system is running what is the high uh, the what is the pressure of the high pressure side and what is the pressure of the low pressure side if you see if you really see there's a problem with the uh, the pressure will in uh, the become increased than the limited pressure that uh, you have this problem so next thing you have to check the your seawater water system the most common issue that uh, if you if you see the high pressure problem that problem might be the uh, seawater water cooling system so the you have to check the seawater water cooling system you can check the overboard discharge or, and also you can check the your sea strainer that uh, sometimes if the sea strainer is blocked that there's no sufficient water for cool the condenser coil uh, then you will have this uh, high pressure shutdown so you have to clean the sea strainer always then also you have to check the sea water pump and you can check the overboard discharge there's also one more thing that uh, uh, most uh, of the AC system there's a limitation for the temperature of the seawater. For example, this kind of AC system, uh, the recommended like uh, if your seawater system, if your area seawater temperature will become in the summer season, if become more than 32 degrees Celsius, this also your AC system can become high pressure. So even your seawater pump is okay, even your sea strainer is okay, if you, but your seawater, but your area seawater is become uh, more than 32 degrees in the summer season, so that you will have also high pressure shutdown. And uh, but most likely the in the world there's uh, only few places that seawater come more than 32 degrees. So. The next thing is if you when you hook up the gauge if you don't see there's a uh, high pressure is become uh, not exceed the uh, limited pressure the problem might be the high pressure switch so that time you can you have to replace the high pressure switch then I will show you the high pressure switch you will see this is the high pressure switch and here also low pressure switch so you have to replace this switch maybe problem might be the high pressure switch so but you have to confirm first by hook up the gauge 
So next thing is low pressure. So low pressure means your low side pressure is decreased than limited pressure. For example, this kind of AC system, if the low pressure side is become less than 30, uh, 30 psi, so the system will be shut down for protect the your compression. So this is usually not shut down in uh, completely not shut shut down in in one time. Usually system try to restart like three. Two three times, then it will completely shut down to for protect the your AC compressor. So if you see the low pressure shutdown, also you will see LP low pressure or some kind of code in your display. And same thing, and you have to confirm first. You have to hook up the gauge, then you can check the low pressure side while the system is running. What is the pressure of the low pressure side? So the low pressure side, if you see really, there's a low pressure of refrigerant. There might be problem. Uh, you have less refrigerant, and uh, sometimes if your AC system is using long time, there's uh, some small leaking somewhere. <coughs> Beyond the, this problem, uh, you will see this kind of problem. And and also, if you have uh, uh, some loose connection, it uh, connecting uh, not to somewhere. That uh, if you have refrigerant leak that uh, you have less of refrigerant that you will have this kind of problem in your system the same thing if you see there's a low pressure then you have to recharge the refrigerant to correct amount of uh, due to the instruction from the company uh, exactly uh, check by checking the pressure and temperature so the and also when you see the low pressure shutdown if you hook up the gauge there's no low pressure if you cannot see the pressure is there's some issues with the freon the problem might be same like the low pressure switch that time you have to replace the low pressure switch as i show you before here you will see the low pressure switch you have to replace the low pressure switch then uh, uh, you can uh, troubleshoot the problem then next thing is the high amperage if you uh, the this is most likely connected to the high pressure problem if your uh, uh, compressor is uh, the prion is the condenser is not cooling well and also you have the, the the refrigerant more than limited level so sometimes compressor try to give much power to compress the uh, refrigerant inside the compressor coil the motor taking much current from the system so the they have uh, limited uh, amperage that if the amperage exceeding than the limited uh, amperage the system will shut down to protect your compressor protect your motor is not burning so that uh, that time you will see this uh, uh, also high amperage shutdown so this is usually connected to the high pressure shutdown problem also then uh, if you see the instruction properly you will see there's a uh, in cooling mode and in heating mode how, how how much amperage it will take it so if when you charging refrigerant you always have to check with this amperage that how much uh, uh, amperage you have to uh, when you charging that uh, how much amperage the compressor is taking you have to take care about that uh, so this main things is most common problem that you will see in the this kind of uh, ac system and my previous video i also uh, show you how to clean this how to flush this uh, ac cooling system by using the chemical and if your ac system is become uh, old the inside the copper tubing it's become stuck by the burnicus uh, then that time you have to flush the, your cooling system to clean the inside all the copper and uh, uh, all the hose to become clean inside so this is the thing that I need to explain you in this video that uh, these three kind of uh, common issues and in future I'm, I 
I will make videos of for the chiller uh, system that what kind of issue that you will have with the chiller and uh, I hope uh, you get some idea and this video will helpful for you if you working in the motor if you work in the boat and uh, you can subscribe my video thank you for watching have a nice day